everybody welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be making stuffed cheeseburgers um, right now I have maybe about a tablespoon maybe about a teaspoon and a half of gar minced garlic I got slap your mama garlic powder accent ground black pepper Italian seasoned onion powder and some seasoned stuff and I have two sets on packages and I got maybe about two and a quarter pounds of ground beef and I got some bread that's actually soaking in milk. So what I do is I mix all my ingredients up and then I'm going to put in all the seasonings. I'm also going to chop up some bell peppers and onions and I'll put that in there as well. Okay, so I've chopped up the green peppers and onions. So I'm going to actually take it and just put a few of them in there. Not a whole lot because I don't really like texture. Just enough to give it some seasoning. So I want to say maybe a half a cup mix of green bell peppers and onions. And I use uh, my Ninja to blend them up in. And I'm doing this one handed, so excuse the shaking. Then I'm gonna take my sesame packs and put them in. That's one. And y'all, I use all type of season. I don't care what it is. It can be dollar store, if I catch it on sale or whatever it is, I'm gonna use it. So then I just sprinkle a little bit of slap your mama, a little bit of accent, some black pepper, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. And a little bit of seasoning salt, because you don't need that much salt when you got cheese, because cheese kind of has a salt base to it, and you kind of get that mixed and worked in a little bit before you put your bread. I probably should have had a bigger bowl, seeing that it's falling all over when my counter's clean, so... So I'm gonna work that in a little bit. And with this, you don't need an egg as a binder because the milk and the bread will kind of be your binder. So you don't need an egg. So work that in a little bit. You wanna be able to see all your little seasonings in there. See how you see all your seasoning? Your green peppers, your onions, your garlic. Take some from the bottom, kind of work it in the middle. And once again, I should have used a bigger bowl, but we're gonna make this work. All right, so you don't wanna mix it too much. Cause you still want some big chunks of everything in there. All right. Then you're gonna take your bread, and you're gonna put it in there as well. You're gonna mush that in there and mix it up. And I just use regular 2% milk or whatever milk you may have. Some people may like almond milk, soy milk, 
But I just grabbed what was close to me in my refrigerator. Nothing special. And these be good, y'all. When I say good, I mean good. Full of flavor, juicy. So I'm mixing this up. Alrighty, and then I'll show you how I patty them and insert the cheese. Yep. A patty about this size. That's a huge bell pepper, let's take that out. So you wanna grab a patty about this size. And I'm using one hand, y'all, so I can hold the camera and do it at the same time. So you kinda wanna smash it. Then you wanna insert your cheese. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it. So you're folding the cheese into the meat. Sorry if my hands aren't away from y'all seeing, but I'm just trying to fold the cheese into the meat. You wanna keep folding the cheese into the meat. And you wanna make sure it's all the way around. So it's all the cheese is inside. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna smash it just a little bit. Take it, put it onto your cooking sheet. And that's burger number one. I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna finish the rest. Okay, so now I have them all patted up and I got six patties. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stick them in the oven. I got the oven set on 350. And there they go. Hey everybody, I just wanna let you know that the cheese that I did use was Gouda, it was mozzarella, and it was sharp cheddar. I mean, you can use any cheese of your choice, but those were just my choice of cheese. And I use the shredded cheese because it's easy to insert into the meat. Um, it's easier for to, you to fold it in. Um, some people use a block of cheese, but I just like the shredded cheese. It's so much easy to manage. And um, I'll show you the finished product so when it's done. I'm just putting some sliced cheese on top because they're pretty much done. You see how that cheese just oozed out? So I'm going to put this cheese on top. And this is Land Lakes American cheese. Alright, and I'm gonna pop them back in the oven. So, and I'm also making some loaded tater tots, just basic tater tots that's frozen. Got them in the deep fryer. I'm gonna put some of this Taco Bell cheese on here with some bacon. I got some bacon in the skillet fryer. Put some cheese and bacon on there, and I'll show you the finished product. And there you go. Stuffed cheeseburger, loaded tater tots, and that's the meal for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.